hey there what's up guys welcome to blender Wiz. and in today's video we'll be learning how to model a modern bathroom in blender this is a beginner series so not wasting our time let's get started So first we'll start by deleting everything from the scene and then we add a plane, just scale it and then go into the edit mode and press 2 to go into the edge select mode and select these three edges and press E to extrude and Z to extrude it along the Z axis. Let's extrude it somewhere here and then go into the object mode then let's add a cube let's see to scale it along press Z to grab it along the Z axis and X along the X axis then go into the edit mode press 3 to go into the face select mode select this face and grab it along the X axis then similarly select this face and grab it along the y axis all the way down till let's say here then select this face and grab it along the y axis till here and let's just widen this up by grabbing it along the x axis so this will be the bottom. Now, now let's add another cube and grab it along the y axis, along the x axis to somewhere here. Scale it down a bit. All right. So this will be the comma. Now press shift D to duplicate and grab it along the X axis, along the Z axis as well, to somewhere here and then scale it along the X axis and then scale it along the Z axis a bit. Then press shift D to duplicate and grab it along the Z axis and place it somewhere here and go into the edit mode. and select this side face and grab it along the x-axis to somewhere here and select this top face and grab it along the z-axis all right so this will be the basic structure of the bathroom now let's add some detailing to it before that let's just save it so press ctrl s to save so i'll save it on the desktop and i'll name it as bathroom youtube and then i'll save the file so now let's model the bathtub so select this cube and press 0 to focus on that object and then press shift D to duplicate and scale it down a bit now let's move it up so press Z to grab and Z so that the object moves along the Z axis now select this outer cube and go into the modifiers tab and then add a boolean modifier then inside the boolean modifier make sure you click on the difference option and select the object as this cube and then click on apply so once you apply now if you move this cube and see 
there is a hole in between the tuck so let's delete this cube now select the tuck go into the edit mode and press 3 to select the page select mode and select all these faces Once you select, press P and separate it as selection. So now this becomes a separate object. So now you can see we have this separate object here. Alright. So now select this object and go into the edit mode and press 2 to select the edge select mode and select all these edges. So once you select all these edges, just press Ctrl B to bevel and move your mouse cursor. Let's keep it here and then scroll it up. So now you can see we have this curve socket. So now you can see we have these gaps here. So in order to do that, we have to bevel this object as well. So press H to hide this one and select this object go into the edit mode and select all these vertices select all these edges i mean and press ctrl b to bevel and all right and now if you unhide the object you can see we don't have these caps here okay so next thing you have to do is Select this in object and then add a modifier which is the solidify modifier and increase the thickness to here. Okay. And then we can scale this a bit so that we don't see any edges. Now once you have done that, select the in our select the inner cube press right click and shade it smooth do the same for the outer cube as well right click and shade it smooth so and the next thing you have to do is go into the object data properties and inside the normal section turn on the auto smooth option and do the same for the inner cube as well all right so we are done with the part tab. So the bathtub seems a little bit large so let's select the tub and we can just scale it so press S to scale and scale it along the Y axis. Let's keep it. Okay so this looks better and then we can scale it along the X axis as well. Just grab it along the X axis a bit. Grab it along the X axis a bit. Alright and then grab it along the y-axis okay this looks better now alright so now let's model the commode so select this cube and grab it along the x-axis a bit and then grab it along the z axis scale it a bit along the z axis and then along the x axis as well then grab the bottom face so go into the edit mode and select this face press 3 to go into the face select mode and select the bottom face and then scale it along the x axis a bit Alright, and then we can grab this face a bit down. Okay. And then you can press E to extrude it along the Z axis. And select all these faces.
and press P to separate it by selection and then go into the modifiers tab or else let's just bevel it manually so select this cube and press 2 to select the edge select mode and select all this corner faces corner edges and press ctrl b to bevel now uh, let's bevel it this way and then select this part go into the edit mode and do the same so select all the edges by pressing shift and then press ctrl p to bevel all right so we are done with the commode and then do the same so go into the so just right click and shade it smooth then go into the object data properties and inside the normal click on auto smooth do the same here and auto smooth so we are done with the commode might look a bit large so we scale it down all right okay so we are done with the combo just save the file now let's model the furniture so first we select this box and then press shift D to duplicate and S to scale somewhere here and grab it along the Y axis Grab it along the x-axis Scale it a bit Along the z-axis All right Now go into the edit mode Press 3 to go into the face select mode Select this face and grab it along the x-axis To somewhere here Let's grab it a bit more and then press shift D to duplicate and grab it along the x-axis and place it somewhere here okay now select both the cubes and grab it along the y-axis till here okay then select the outer cube and Go into the edit mode, press 2 to select the edges. Select just these two edges and press Ctrl B to bevel. Don't bevel much. Alright, this much. And then go into the upper cube. Scale it a bit along the Z axis. Go into the edit mode press 3 to face select e to extrude somewhere here and then press e to extrude again to somewhere here select these edges by pressing 2 and if you press alt it will select all the edges then press shift and alt then press ctrl b to bevel Alright, now select these faces. So if you press Alt, it will select all the faces and press P to separate it by selection. Okay, so we are done with the furniture. Now you just have to shade it smooth. Go into the object data properties and auto smooth. Do the same here shade smooth and then auto smooth for this one as well okay so now we are done with the furniture
so now let's add some lights so to do that let's add a cylinder first so press shift a and add a cylinder I'm going to the top view grab it along the y axis and then grab it along the x axis to place it somewhere here and then scale it down and press delete on the numpad to zoom at the object now you can grab it along the z axis and then scale it down a bit again this will be the wire or the cable which will hold our lights so let's grab it along the z axis and then let's press the delete button to focus then go into the edit mode then in face select mode click the bottom face and press g to grab along the z axis okay then go into the object mode now let's make it more thin so s to scale and shift z to not scale on the z axis all right this looks good now let's add a torus so press shift a and inside the mesh select torus then inside the add torus section let's zoom into the torus now let's decrease the minor radius to let's keep the minor radius to 0 0.007 and now rotate along the x-axis at 90 degrees and then grab it and place it somewhere here grab it along the y-axis alright and scale it now go to the edit mode zoom in a bit and inside the wireframe mode select the edge select mode and select the top and then select this top vertices and then press G and Z to grab along the Z axis to let's say somewhere here all right this looks good and just scale it a bit along the X axis all right this looks good now go into the edit mode again and press P to separate it by selection. Alright. Okay, so this looks good. Just select everything and press Shift D to duplicate and X to move it along the X axis and Y to move it along the Y axis. Alright, then you can rotate it along the z-axis a bit. Let's rotate it that side. Alright, now you can again press and then you can take it this a bit up. Then press shift D again and grab it along the x-axis along the z-axis and along the y-axis as well and then just rotate it let's say some here and also rotate this all right now let's just align this cables properly so move it along the y-axis alright then move this as well 
double click Y so that it will move along the direction which it which it is facing so G double Y all right so we are done with the lights let's add some materials but before adding materials just do this thing just select the wall then go into the edit mode and add a loop cut over here somewhere here and then go into the face select mode and select these faces and press P to separate it by selection okay now go into the object mode and select this part go into the modifiers tab and add a solidify modifier so this will just give some thickness to the selected area now let's select the wall again go into the edit mode and select the flow and press P to separate it by selection and then we have this separate object now now let's add a material to the flow first so just split the screen into two parts go into the shader editor then click on add new material just grab it and place it here and select this four then select this one and press Control shift and T if if this option is not working then go into the edit let me show you if this option is not working then go into the edit preferences and then search for node wrangler add-on and enable the node wrangler add-on so now select this one and press Control shift and T then I'll provide you the link of the textures in the description you can download the textures from there i'll just open the file so this is the this is the flow texture which i'll be using then select everything and then press on principal texture setup now this will automatically set up the nodes and you can see the texture by going into the material preview mode so you can see the texture has been applied but first we have to uv unwrap it so that we could properly see the texture so to do that let's just split the screen again and go into the uv editor go into the edit mode first and press a to select all press U to unwrap and then select cube projection and then you can select everything here and scale it and just scale it until you get a proper unwrap texture let's say something here alright alright so we are done with the flow now scale it a bit down ok now so now we are done with the flow now go into the object mode again oh by the way you can see that the solidify modifier which we have applied it's applied towards the other side that means the thicker part is on the outside so to do that you can just decrease the thickness and let's say minus 0 0.01 which will just bring this thickness towards the inner side anyway so now we have done the texturing for the flow now let's do the tiles so we'll do the same again let's hide this so click on new then again select this one and press ctrl shift and t then again i'll provide you the texture in the description just select all the textures 
and click on principal texture setup now this will automatically set up the texture for us now you can see it is not at all properly aligned so again we have to UV unwrap it so click the screen again go into the UV editor press tab and select everything and press U to unwrap and let's say few projection then press A to select all and scale it scale it till so you can scale it till here all right so now we have done with the tiles as well so let's just save it now let's add a texture here on this part okay so before adding there let's just add a texture to the outer side of our bathtub which will be the same texture as our flow so select me and grab it like this one and then press again control shift and T then you select everything and do the same okay so the texture has been applied here as well for this one let's just flip the screen we have to again UV unwrap it go into the UV editor edit mode select everything by pressing A and again let's do cube projection so select A to scale we scale it down this time so now you can see we have a good looking picture now let's do the same here as well let's add a new material control shift and T open the material mm, I think it's this one yeah so let's select everything and all right now even for this you have to do UV unwrapping so edit mode select everything by pressing A and U to unwrap Q projection scale it now you can just scale it yeah till here now you can add materials to the tub as well which for that you don't need any specific texture you just have to go and add a new material and for that just decrease the roughness value because usually the tubs are not very rough and increase the metallic value if you want a bit okay now you can add the same materials to the toilet as well so let's add this too so now for the furniture you have to again add a new material the material will be same as the flow so select this and control shift and T we are using the same flow material for this and then open the UV editor on this side go into the edit mode select everything and U to unwrap and cube projection now select everything and scale it down till here all right okay this looks good all right now do the same thing here let's add a new material and press ctrl shift and t add the same material here 
So once you have added the material, just go into the edit mode again, select everything by pressing A and then U to untrap cube projection. Select all and scale it down. Alright, this looks good. Now for this material, let's add this one. Now let's just add some texture to the lights. For the lights, we just have to add a new material and change the base color to black. Decrease the roughness a bit. Alright. And add the same material to all of the wire. Now for this top part, let's add a new material and give it a golden color. Somewhere like this. And increase the metallic value, decrease the roughness. So we get a a golden color. Alright. Now add the same material to all of them. Now here you add a new material and change the so principal PHDF to emission. Change the color of the light to yellow, light yellow, and increase the strength to 100. And then add the same material to all of them. Alright, and then for the lights, press Shift A, add a plane. Grab it along the Z axis, scale it along the Y axis, move to the top view, grab it along the Y axis and then along the X axis. So we need some lights here, scale it along the X axis and then add a new material. Change the surface to emission and change the strength to 30. Press Shift D to duplicate and grab it along the Y axis and rotate it along the Z axis at 90 degree and place it somewhere here. So this will be the two lights and let's add another plane. So we can add some lighting at the bottom here and as also here as well. So grab it along the Z axis, scale it along the Y axis, go into the top view, grab it along the Y axis and place it somewhere here, scale it along the X axis all the way to here, now grab it along the Z axis. Place it at the bottom. Yeah, you can place it here. Alright. Now add a new material. Change the surface to emission. Color to yellow. And strength to 5. and do the same here as well. So Shift D and you can place the slides here. So scale it along the x-axis a bit and then grab it along the x-axis and let's place it here. All right, so we are almost done with the modeling. Let's save the project. Now let's model the sink. So to model the sink, we will add a UV sphere. And then grab it along the Z axis. Then go into the edit mode. 
we go into the wireframe mode and then we select all the top vertices select the layer and then press x to delete faces now we got to sync Let's scale it along the z axis a bit all right and then scale it along the y axis okay go into the object mode go into the top view g to grab grab it along the y axis and then grab it along the x axis and let's place it somewhere here at the center all right and then grab it along the z axis till here move it a bit up say till here now right click and shade it smooth then go into the object data properties and turn on auto smooth then go into the modifiers tab and add a solidify modifier so now you can see this got some thickness is just increase the thickness till here all right so the taps and shampoos are very time consuming things to model so for that we will use the inbuilt free library of blender which is called the blender kit so to enable it go into the edit preferences and search for blender kit and turn on blender kit library so this is absolutely free where you can get amazing models and materials and textures etc so here we'll search for tabs so just type tab and you can see different models so you can use any one of them for the sync i'll be using this one grab it along the z axis and then scale it Go to the top view, grab it along the y axis, grab it along the x axis, and rotate it along the z axis somewhere here. Okay, this looks good. You can scale it a bit. Alright. Now, similarly, for the shower tab, you can again search for it. For the shower, I would like to use this tab. Let's grab it. Sorry, just select it. And grab it along the Z axis. Scale it. Go to the top view. Grab it along the X axis. And grab it along the Y axis and place it somewhere here. Let's zoom it a bit. grab it along the z-axis and scale it down place it somewhere here and we'll grab, grab it along the y-axis somewhere here all right so this will be for the shower you can scale it down and then you can add another tap which is this one so we select it grab it along the z-axis go into the top view grab it along the y-axis and then grab it along the x-axis to somewhere here and rotate it along the x-axis at 90 degree and then you can scale it and then grab it along the x-axis a bit all right now do the same for the shampoo bottles as well so search for shampoo and press enter so i'll select these two bottles
going to the top view grab it along the y axis grab it along the z axis and place it somewhere here and let's add another bottle and do the same for this bottle as well okay and then let's add a towel so you can use this hanging towel grab it along the y-axis and then grab it along the z-axis and let's place it somewhere here all right now the last thing to add is a mirror so search for a mirror and i'll add this round mirror let's select it rotate it along the x-axis at 90 degrees and grab it And grab it along the y axis then grab it along the z axis grab it along the x axis scale it along the x axis a bit grab it a bit up all right now select the wall go into the tab press 2 and select all to select all the upper area and just grab it along the z axis all right so the last thing okay so we forgot to add a plant here let's add a plant you can add any plant here so i'll just add this one a small one just select it grab it along the z axis go to the top view grab it along the y axis grab it along the x-axis grab it along the y-axis and then scale it then grab it along the z-axis and place it somewhere here Okay, so now the last thing to do is let's add a camera so press shift a add a camera and press ctrl alt and zero now just grab it over here press n go into the view and select camera to view now if you rotate the screen the camera will move along it along with the screen now just adjust it somewhere here now go into the render properties change the render engine to cycles turn on adaptive sampling and turn on denoising for render and go into the render and click on render image so once you finish rendering the final render is gonna look like this so I have made some changes like uh, I have added one tissue here which is again I have downloaded from the Blender kit add-on then I have adjusted this lightings so you can adjust it accordingly like how you it depends on how the render looks so yeah this, these are the only changes which I made so yeah I hope you like the video and if you like it then please hit that like button and also subscribe to my channel so thank you so much for watching